querido abuelo. Bueno, yo solo Dear Grandpa, well, I've already been here for two weeks. Thanks for the articles about my old team. It's hard to believe that I won't be playing again for them this year. You're not dressed yet? Come on, we don't want to be late on your first day. Let's go. Mom's fine. She's busy at her legal job. I haven't seen much of her. She says it's going to take a while to be comfortable in a new country. But even my clothes feel strange. Today is my first day of school. It's bigger than the one at home. So many new faces. What if nobody likes me? The school says my English could be better, so I have to spend two hours a day in a special class. Everything is so new. I miss my friends. I'm going to try to fit in, but I don't know. At least my mom is happy that I'm here. I just hope that coming to live with her was the right thing to do. Okay. Oh, Mom. What? Oh. <laughs> You're embarrassed, too. Yeah. Have a great first day, huh? Everybody's gonna love you. I don't know. It sure was easier back home with you and Grandma. Ever been the new guy? I have. My parents moved to Germany when I was a kid, and I thought I would never fit in. Felipe's got a rough ride ahead. GPA's up for the semester. Come on in. Dave, can I call you back? Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Catch you later. You wanted to see me, Mr. Reardon? Yes, this is Philippe, new student, language problems. Apparently, he needs someone's help getting around the campus, and I thought I would impose upon you to be Mr. Galen's Jiminy Cricket for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I had English in school when I was in Mexico. Do you speak Spanish? No, not in any useful way. My grandmother forbid my mother to speak Spanish. Now my mother wants me to learn French. Okay, every day starts here. This is home room. Your last name begins with the letter G. So you and everyone else whose last name begins with the letter G or H or F for that matter will report to this room. I, J, and K is across the hall and L, M, and O is down the hall. Just um, go in there, tell the teacher your name, take an empty seat, and I'll see you in English class. How far is it to stand around and watch Weaver's girl? Come in, come in. Grab the desk. I, I am Felipe Galán. You are late, Felipe. Grab a desk. And Kerr, why don't you lead us in the flight? Get the Pledge of Allegiance, man. What sing Jose can you see? <laughs> Jokers, let it fall off your back. Ready? Begin. All right, you're on the lot. Time for gym class. Get yourselves dressed and out on the field in two minutes. All right, listen up. The object of the game of soccer is to stick the ball into the back of your opponent's net. Score a goal. Now, the game within the game of soccer is a free-flowing battle for control of that ball. And that, gentlemen, takes a combination of... of teamwork and individual skill. As our good friend Mr. Weaver here will demonstrate. Now, who wants to go first? Right, Grosky? Come on, you and Weaver, one-on-one, on one. off you go. Close, eh? Gotta keep it close. Not on my map, not on my cat, not on my head. I like jam in my tummy, it is yummy. 
Very good, Annie. Really good. Yes. Sweet. Okay, Felipe, why don't you go next? It's okay. Super dude. Sound it out. Cap said. Casped. Lock. I think it's lactose intolerant. I think he can read it himself, Vladimir. Oh, sorry, Miss Johnson. Julie, have you met Felipe? He just started today. Mr. Reardon appointed me Felipe's cartoon guide bug this morning. Julie's my teaching assistant. When I was Dumbo, Julie was mouse. Sweet. The mouse, Vladimir. Julie was the mouse. Remember the article. The mouse. I see what's for lunch today. Spinach. Good for Popeye. Not good for Vlad. I'll have some slapjacks instead. Oh, you want something? No, it's okay. They have some chocolate balls that have to be dying for. Eddie! I saw this movie once about an astronaut who got marooned in a strange planet. Now I know how he felt. They have names for food here that don't make sense to me. And like everything else, just when I think I know what something is, it turns out to be something different. How am I even going to figure out what I like to eat here? Plus, I have to eat lunch alone. That's the worst part. I never had to be alone back home, unless I wanted to be. There were always friends to talk to, to joke around with. It doesn't seem like there's going to be anyone like that here. Where are you going? First rule, never eat anything sold in this poison palace. You don't talk much, do you? Are you afraid to talk? What, what should I say? I don't know, whatever you feel like saying. It's not a test. Where are you from? Culiacán, Mexico. And your family just moved here? No, my parents, um, uh, n nine years ago. Mm -hmm. I lived in Culiacán with uh, my grandfather. How old are you? Fifteen. So you haven't seen your parents since you were six? No. W well, y y yes. Um, in uh, Christmas, holidays. Where were you born? Right here. Well, not right here. I was born at Memorial Hospital over on Mason Street, but I'm from here. I grew up here. I have two sisters, but they're older. Rewind a sec. Why weren't you here living with your parents? Julie, aren't you late for gym? I'm, I get excused from gym class on game days, Ryan. You guys know Felipe? Yeah. Yeah, from homeroom. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Oh, it's a figure of speech. What um, Kurt is trying to say is hi. Oh. Mm -hmm. what, what, what kind of um, ga game do you play? I'm not touching that one, man. Touching that one. <laughs> Soccer. My dad played in college, and I don't have any brothers, so the tradition got passed down to me. Soccer. Girls sport. Hey, man, I'm gonna say. <laughs> See me? I'm on the football team. Quarterback. Yeah, second string. I also play football. Yeah, what position? He means soccer. In his country, soccer is called football. Hey, you know, we could use a new kicker, Felipe. Phew, guy we got in these big gusts of wind to get his extra points over the ball. American football, man, is what you do in America. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, you should try it. I don't guarantee you'll have any brain cells left after practice. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? <laughs> Just what you said, my man. <laughs> Come on, push it! Come on, son, you want to play football? I get your brother down here. He drive you home. Let's go. Let's go. This is not a head game, kid. It's a box. Box says you're a kicker. Come on. Use your box. Yes. Let's go. All right. Pay attention. This is real simple. All right? This ball is made with laces and lines. You got it? Okay, the laces are there so that the quarterback can get a better grip on the ball. The lines, I have no idea what the lines are for, but what's important is that this is a spheroid. It's not round, which means that the physics of it is you want to rotate it from end to end. You got it? Get it? Good. All right. My teachers are nice, but they talk so fast. I cannot understand everything. There you go. You guys, you guys got a new kicker. Let's 
Back, you're gonna find your mark on hike the center. That's 34 right there. It's gonna snap it to Fox. Fox is gonna put it on the T spin and laces forward. You're gonna kick it right through those uprights. Very simple. You got it? Any questions? All right, here's what you're gonna do end over end. Remember, all right. What is Felipe? Listen to me. When I say win, just kick it, all right? Okay. Sushi, have you ever had it? I can't remember. So, how was school? Are your classes hard? You like your teachers? What's the name of your school? The name of your school? Wood Valley. Gotcha. <laughs> you talked. Ama. I think I want to go home. Felipe, this is our home now. I am a citizen of this country, which makes you a citizen of this country. How? I was not born here. Why can't you be... Why do you always want to be something else, somewhere else? Why can't you just be a mother? Felipe! Felipe? We have to talk, don't we? Now I can fix this. We should take you shopping. It's so hard to guess how much you've grown when I buy you clothes. I couldn't go back, Felipe. There's nothing in Culiacán for me. I promised your father I would finish school. I got my degree, a good job, to make a life for us. I've missed you so much, Pepito. I counted the days. And some days, I counted the hours. your father's eyes and his stubbornness Felipe it's all going to work out I promise you I talk with mom about things tonight but sometimes she sounds like a stranger like I do not even know her here's a picture I took of the two of us when I arrived I made a copy for you and grandma I miss you both Love, Felipe. P.S. Hoopa here is crazy. As a kid, I didn't fit in until I got a basketball in my hand. Kind of made everything else okay. Maybe Felipe just has to find his game. This is a little quiz to establish math aptitude and to determine what classes we will be forming next semester and to determine what classes you will be placed in According to the level you're at. You have 20 minutes. Begin now. Hey, guys, the answer to the first question is 25, 36, 74, hike. Uh, 
Mr. Ho, Mr. Fox, do we uh, have to separate you back there? Oh, no, there's That's no good. problem, Mr. Right. Fetter. Everything's okay. Good. Phoebe, confused by these numbers. You see, in my language, Suryak numbers are very, very different. So it's, it's really not fair for me. Grandpa, something here is the same as back home. Ooh, another import. There's a guy who thinks he's better than everyone else. It's Weaver against the world. And that is a foul. Come on, Weaver. You gotta play this bloody game. All right, try again. Let's rumble, amigo. Thank you very much, Mr. Weaver. We can live without your commentary. He's good, but not as good as he thinks. You played this game before? Since I was three. You know, we have a soccer team at school. You should think about turning up. With girls? No, no, no. We've got a boys team, too. I don't know. My mom, she might need my help after school. Practice fifth period. You kick some booty today, brother. Come on. There's reed, there's red, and there's red. The last one is a color, and it's spelled differently. The other two mean the same thing, but reed is something you do now, and red is something that you did before. Before what? Weaver, come here. Now, look, you had two men wide open downfield, and what are you doing? You're not passing the ball. No, you're slowing up the whole offense, fiddling around in midfield, doing keep away. I'm the striker. I had an open. You had diddly. Now, how many times have I got to tell you, gentlemen, this game is about teamwork, all right? Teamwork. Hey, Felipe. Hey. Glad you could make it. All right, gentlemen, this is Felipe Gallon. He's a new student here, but he's been playing this game a long time, and maybe, just maybe, he can help us. All right, Felipe, you're in for Weaver, forward line. Hey, buddy, you got help! Good pass, nice pass. I'm sorry. That was too hard. That was oh, too hard. It was, it was great. Hey, Felipe. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, let me show you this. All right. I'll do that next time I see you. I have decided to try to play football. They call it soccer here. The coach is from England, and someone said he was a pro in Europe. He seems to have faith in me, but I think the team would like me to just go away. Because I am from a different country. Why is being different a bad thing? Looking for those? Someone put them in the shower. Sorry, man. I guess they were dirty. Someone wash my clothes. Soccer practice? 
It's rough being a new guy, isn't it? All you can hope is for someone else to come along and take your place. Or I can always go home. This is your home. That's what my mother says. One good thing did happen. I met this really cute girl at school. I think I've made a friend at school, but I'm still all mixed up. Will I really fit in better if I don't play soccer so well? And what is important, to be myself or to have friends? So did you have dinner? I left it in the oven. Okay, today we're gonna visit some places that you may go to on the weekend. We're going to learn American idiom, which means shortcuts for saying things. Have you ever heard the expression, bowl me over? This is going to be fun. Just remember that it's still class, and next week you're going to write a paper about your experience. I am wearing all five sides. Inform of a question, honey. I am wearing all five sides. Hamburger isn't really made of ham. Ham is from pigs, and burger is from a cow. And uh, root beer isn't really made of beer. Uh, just like a sandwich isn't made out of sand. So now that we're completely confused, why don't we just order and see what happens? Miss Johnson, who's paying? I want my cheeseburger. Hamburger, cheeseburger, two hamburgers, strawberry shake. I, I don't know. Ten dollar I have. How much cheeseburger for? Do you have anything vegetarian? Fries fried. I'll have the onion rings. Potatoes fried French. Sweet. I'll have three orders of onion rings. I'll have what she has. Sharp shoes. You think so? No, no, it's um, just another figure of speech. And I was being sarcastic, which is kind of like joking. <laughs> Except not really, forget it. Too sharp, I think. Someone could get hurt. <laughs> Pull them down, Baba. It would be so nice of you to pass the ball occasionally. Deeper! 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 Alright, Weaver. How many times do I have to tell you this? You have men open on both wings and you're doing the bloody Macarena at midfield. What difference does it make? I pass the ball to them and they just lose Your it. Your teammates don't get a chance to practice because they don't get a chance to handle the bloody ball. Now, why do you think we haven't won a game in two years? When you want to play soccer again, Weaver, you can come back in. Get out here, Philippe. Come on. Hustle. All right. Try some give and go. Come on. Callan. Are you tired? No. So what's going on? Yeah. But you, uh, you do what you do, right? You lead. They'll follow. Right? Go on. I like my new coach, but at my old team, I did not have to teach anyone how to pass or learn a new language or pretend to be something I am not. Mom has been working late a lot, so it's usually just me by myself when I come home from school. I'm trying, but everything is still so hard. I'm scared I will not be able to keep trying for much longer. I'll be right again soon. Love, Felipe.
Sometimes life doesn't seem fair, but you can't argue the call. Certain things like, say, an NBA championship can take time. But if you quit, you'll never know if you could have made it. Hey, Grandpa. I'm not sure how it happened, but I think things are getting better. Keep the ball moving. Find the old man. Take the shot. Nicely done, Gallant. I made the school soccer team, and little by little, my teammates are starting to accept me. They have not thrown my clothes in the shower for a week. Hey, man. You're gonna be too embarrassed to play with us? I mean, you know, you're the rock, man. Your passing's deadly, and I don't know. I, I think we got a team here, boys, you know? So, what's up? Man, you can play, for sure. Since I was three, yes, thank you. It is strange, though. Soccer is the most popular sport in the world. Remember the game we saw in Mexico City? There were 100,000 people in the stands. Here, no one cares about soccer. I am still an outsider, still a stranger. people are supposed to wear a necktie on game day, but Felipe does not have a necktie, Miss Johnson. You expressed that extremely well, Eddie, and you're right about Felipe, but I think I can help. Thank you, Julie. Vladimir, apparently they want to see you in the principal's office. I'm not. I am bad at math. You do not get in trouble for being bad at math. Yes, well, watch me. Hey, Mr. One of my new friends may have gotten in trouble today. I was supposed to meet him for lunch. I hope he's okay. With Vlad. No, no poison today. Did you play for a good team in Mexico? State champions. Were you the best player? No. Is your dad a good player? He. What? My dad died. He had cancer. I'm sorry. I didn't... He was a good player. He was a, a goalie and a forward. In the first half, he'd be a goalie, and if his, his team could not score, He'd move up to striker. You miss it, don't you? Mexico, your old team. You're pretty good. What do you mean pretty good? For a girl? No, I, I mean it. You have, um, uh, talent? Thanks. I'm a good defender, but I think I need to learn to dribble better. Like Mitch Weaver, he's such a great player. No, he's not. He can just dribble. Dribble is, is show-off stuff. Passing is the game. <sighs> no one here wants to pass. Everyone is selfish show-off. They dribble and dribble and dribble and lose the ball. You want to score the goals, but it won't work for them as a team. OK, show us. What? Why does everyone keep asking me to be a leader? I am not a leader. I just want to be part of the team and help win games. Besides, I am the new guy. Nobody's going to listen to me.
But something happened during our first league game. One of our best players was hogging the ball again. I had to speak my mind. It turned out bad. Speak English. We could have scored you, ball pig. Is that loco? Same team we're on. No me puedes dar la carta amarilla. You can't yell at me for arguing with my own teammate. Hey, you're out. I was thrown out of the game for arguing with my own teammate. Well, come on, if cut us a break here, would you? Come on, son, you know better than that. I know it was not right, but I was just sticking up for the rest of the team. We lost. Eight to nothing. Hey, I almost forgot. I got a letter from Grandpa today. He didn't say anything about your game. Well, I really wanted to be there today, but we were so backed up at work. We had four depositions, Linda got sick, I couldn't get away. In English, please. Thank you for trying. Look, I, I'm sorry for missing your game, Pepito. I really, really am. Pepito? I'm not your baby, and you always say I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, yeah. No sé cómo hablarte de veras. In no English, sé... please. <sighs> you will always be my baby, Felipe. Don't you think that you won't? Yo miré la partida final de la temporada regular. I watched regular. the final regular season game, and now they will be playing for the championship again. Jose and Pedro say they will miss you at the midfield, but there's a new kid, Ruben, who has been very good. Felipe, take it easy on your mother. She only wants what is best for you. Life is a series of wonder challenges, grandson. Do not be afraid of change. I must say, I thought all the reports on bowling were excellent. Vladimir's was especially funny. We have leather Mary is. Where is Vladimir, Annie? He, uh, he usually is at nutrition machines, but not this morning. I thought uh, maybe machines were empty. I heard he got suspended. Man, man. For, for doing what did he? You mean what did he do? Yes, that. They say he cheated on a test. Felipe, Mr. Reardon sent word he wants to see you. You have to understand now. You and Mr. Gransky had the same exact answers on the test. And the seating plan shows that you were sitting next to each other. This is serious. His name is Grosky. I, I did not... Well, Grosky, Gratsky, Gratsky. If you let him copy your answers, that's cheating. That's cheating. Look, I'm not going to... Uh, suspend you now. You're doing well in all your classes. You're playing soccer. I'll tell you what I do want. I want you. I want you to bring your mother here tomorrow morning so we can discuss this 8 o'clock, okay? My, my, my mother works. That'll be all. That'll be all. Felipe, Miss Johnson sent me to see if you... Felipe! Remember I told you about my friend who got in trouble? He cheated on a test, and now they think I cheated too. I did not cheat, Grandpa, but I could not find the words to explain what happened. Mom is too busy, and she does not need me to make trouble for her. The other kids are too busy to make new friends, and I'm just in the way. I'm coming home, where I belong.
at soccer practice today. He got called into um, the vice principal's office, and I saw him leave, and nobody's seen him since. Mrs. Galan, I think we should call Mr. Reardon and find out what he wanted to talk to Felipe about. Uh, no, Felipe will tell me that himself. The police say there is nothing they can do for 48 hours. They say that in all likelihood he will come back. Yeah, but... Shouldn't we call Mr. Reardon and just find out? Oh, well, we will. What? We will, but I, I want to talk to Felipe first. He will come back. <laughs> he has to come back. He told me to try, but well, I have tried, and it did not work. If this letter does not get to you before I arrive, I will explain everything when I see you. Love, Felipe. This is gonna work for Felipe, running away. I don't. Man, this is a big floor. Good morning, Harvey. It's Elena. I, I won't be coming in today. Well, Felipe's. I, I, I'm just... Buenos dias. Hi. Ah, you speak English. Más o menos. Me parece más, más que menos. Where are you headed? Home. Me too. No, thank you. <coughs> I never eat before noon. My secret to long life and healthy bowels. <coughs> Listen, I learned this in psych class, okay? I mean, the dude bolts and he's like, it's like a cry for help, you know? You didn't even read the book. I did. Here we go. Hold it. Maybe Felipe is an international spy. And he has been called home because his cover is blown up. Hey, Jules, Felipe was a no-show today. Not to worry, though. I got it covered. As usual. What a royal dweeb. Vlad. I miss him, too. Every time somebody buys a crunch stick. No, 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 no. Vlad got suspended for cheating on his math test. Felipe is in the same homeroom. He gets called into Principal Reardon's office. Why didn't I think of this before? Felipe always said if things got really, really bad, he could just go home. You up here on vacation? You like it? Nah, I could tell. Me, I've been here 20 years. When my fencing business in Sinaloa burned down, I had no choice. It was El Norte or nada. <laughs> Took me six years before I could even bring my family up here. Yeah, I worked out there in California. As a gardener at movie stars' houses. For real movie stars? I cut Mel Gibson's fescue every Thursday. No, the kids are grown up. My wife's dead. Can't pass this can say. But it was a good, good life. No. He is not knowing what goes on. I am very bad at math. I thought I would get in trouble if I did bad on test. Felipe was just trying to be my friend. I cheat. He don't. There's a bus leaving for Mexico this morning. Come on.
Your mother lives here in Los Estados? Uh, yes. Uh, she's gonna miss you. She's busy. She works a lot. I cried every day the first month I was here. I miss so much my family and my home, my friends. But looking back, I would change nothing. Went around. Right. You say goodbye to your friends? I don't have any here. No friends, Manito? Uh, I don't fit in here. I I just yeah, oh, so late. <laughs> You please help. Uh, disculpe, señor. No speak English. Yes, you do. Was yes, so he late. does speak English. Pero what do you want to do? Este help. joven norteamericano te puede ayudar. Help. Su autobús no they, sale they, they, por 15 help. minutos. No, my no, no, daughter. no, sir. My daughter is very... I can't do this. Oh, I don't know my way around here. Help. 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 Está diciendo help. 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 Dame, dame, dame. Help. Sir, yes. I'm fine. Dear Grandpa, guess what happened? While I was waiting for the bus to bring me home to Mexico, these people from a faraway country came running up to me and asked me for help. The girl was getting married and they were lost and alone. They did not know how to get to the church and did not speak any English. And I just helped them, without even worrying about whether I could do it or not. Después, tomarás una izquierda acá. A left. In, in Howard Street. Howard Street. Uh, y dos cruces después vas a estar allí. Okay. No, Adios. Left is right. Okay, good luck. They thought that this was my home. I was not the new guy anymore. Felipe! Where do you think you're going, man? We got a game to play. Don't leave, Felipe. Please don't leave. Who are they? Oh, yeah, Manito. No friends, huh? Now, why would strangers beg for you to stay? <laughs> See? You know Mad Max? Hi, Miss Gardner. Sick. Everybody's freaking out. Mr. Reardon might give Vlad a second chance and a math tutor. And Annie called Mitch Weaver a royal dweeb to his face. We need you. W what is a dweeb? <laughs> Remember, Manit, home is wherever you decide it will be. And you can have more than one. Come on, let's go, man. Mexico, Mexico. Let's go. Give a game. Ma, sweetie, Ma, Ma, it's okay. Ma, 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 here, hold this, hold this. I have to go. Okay, okay. I have, I have a game today. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about this after. Where's your tie, Callan? I don't own one. Uh, uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Rance. Uh, what? What? You know, Rance's parents can't live with them, wouldn't be alive without them. <laughs> <laughs> this was your father's. I've been meaning to give it to you. You apple. It's funny. You go to a new place and you worry about the things you have to do to fit in and all the things you have to learn to get used to. You get it in your head that it will never work out. And then one day you look around and everything has changed. And you have changed. And you are the last one to know. Move it up, move it up. Change is good. It just takes time. I guess it's like scoring goals. 
If you keep passing, you will find an open man. Oh, yes! Great goal! Great goal! Yeah! Lovely stuff! Lovely stuff! Go on, get back down! We got time for more! And do not worry about me and Mom. We are gonna be okay. Good goal. Nice pass. Imagine a game where you can't use your hands. My feet wouldn't like it at first. But change is good, right? Worked for me. Look like it's gonna work for Felipe, too. O'Neal! You're in!